Hey, hey, people. I hope you all had a nice Christmas. I have been working on a couple of things in December. Besides working on the project, I published two new entries in the FPS Double Camera Setup series. And as for the project, I've put together all the learnings from all the previous projects into one single project. And from now on, I will be making devlogs on just this specific thing. I worked on the FPS camera setup in addition to the possibility to put the crosshair off center and have all the ray casts go through that point instead. I added a system which forgives players when they don't time their jumps perfectly. What I did is I added a buffer with frame snapshots where I track if the player has pressed the jump button or not. And on ground impact, I iterate through the buffer and I check when was the last time the player pressed the button and if this point in time is in range of the specified timing window, it will trigger the jump. So let's say that you don't hit the jump perfectly, but you hit the jump button maybe a tenth of a second uh, too early. If this time difference is still in the given range, we still will let you jump as if you have hit the jump perfectly. And I improved on the AI I created two months ago. I have added a couple of new states, which makes it more interesting. And don't get me wrong, it is still trashy, but now it's less trashy. And a cool thing I discovered when working on it is EQS, um, which is short for Environment Query System. It queries the environment for information and it produces valid target points in the world which fulfill specified requirements. So for example, you can generate points on the nav mesh which are in a given distance and visible by the querier or any other reference point in the world. And as an example, we could generate points which are in our walking range and which aren't visible by the player. So this way we could implement a hiding mechanic, which is exactly what I did. So whenever the AI cannot reach the player because he is standing on a crate or something, it will instead hide from him and it will idle around until it sees him again. And finally, I got myself to learn about animations. Um, I have used some free assets for it I found online for the models and this is the pistol I have used. I rigged it myself and to an experienced animator this must probably look horrible. But I'm pretty proud that I still got it working in the first place. And I grabbed this pre-rigged view arms model and started just animating with it. So I got an idle animation, one for walking, one for aiming down the sides and one for shooting, which I haven't implemented yet. And yeah, I am aware that these look terrible, but those are just placeholders for now until I get better at this or until I can find someone who can help out with this. And here I've built a small parkour where I can test the movement. And so far I'm pretty happy with it. Um, it feels fast, it feels direct, although I think I can still improve the jump. It still feels a bit floaty to me. So maybe I can reduce the air time a little bit. And as for the future plans for the project, these are my five things I want to work on in 2021. So first off we have gameplay and here I want to implement ledge grabbing to add another layer of forgiveness for failing jumps. And also I want to try out wall jumping. So when cruising around through this part of the test map, I always get the urge to jump off of the walls. And I don't want it to be a full on wall running system, but just a wall jump, which may or may not also accelerate the player a bit. And the second point is AI. So 
this kind of also belongs to gameplay but I wanted to separate it and here I want to sketch out a couple of enemy archetypes like slow zombie enemies range attack enemies and so on and then I would like to implement at least three of those so that I can continue on with building fun levels to fit the mechanics and the behaviors world building and under this tag I want to build up the core feeling of the game I want to explore the mood the atmosphere and the environments and express this in the level somehow and off of this it will be clear on what assets I might need and as for the assets themselves I'll try to build a couple myself just to have done it at least once and use those to communicate what I want to express and after that get some high quality ones either also free or again find someone who might help out with this and the last point is animations and here the same applies as for the assets yeah, so these are my plans for the foreseeable future and I hope that at the end of 2021 I will have something playable which does not look too terrible and feels kind of well. And last but not least I want to talk about some of the issues I have encountered. So I had a problem with the animation disappearing. On the screen you have an example for this. So this was when I was aiming down the side. Suddenly the animation uh, just disappeared and I found this in the Unreal community so someone also had a problem of skeletal meshes disappearing and they solved it by increasing the bound scale. Uh, next issue was that so when you export an animation and it has an armature which is called armature and you import it into the engine the animation will be blank so you have to name it something else. For me I had this on the pistol model and I couldn't properly import the animations it would just leave them blank and when I renamed armature to pistol armature it started working and then also one thing for Blender is I, I didn't know what this fake user button was. So I made some animations and I hadn't pressed the button. I started creating a new animation, saved the file, loaded it back up and then suddenly the other animation was gone. I figured that I have to press this button in order to not unlink it entirely. So don't make the same mistake. And then there's also this weird bug which is the player is getting stuck on the edge of things when crouching. So I did not look into it as of yet why this is happening. I haven't modified the crouching at all so this is the standard crouching functionality and, and I don't know why this is happening. So if someone knows the solution please just comment and yeah this kind of feels weird to say but do me a favor and hit the subscribe button if you find this outlook interesting and if you want to join my journey. And yeah, I hope that the next year will be a better year for everyone. And until then, see you in the next one. Bye.